So, the last time I made a video with Jack in it, one internet commenter had some lovingly colorful things to say about it. So guess who's with me again? Stand clear of the closing doors, please. So today I'm in San Diego to showcase the different modes of transport that the North County and San Diego has. Our first leg of the journey is to hop on the NCTD Route 309 to a Sprinter station. Alright, we made it to our first stop of the day, El Camino Real Sprinter Station. So Jack and I have bought these Coast NCTD Coaster Premium uh, Passes. These cost us $7.50 and they are valid for 11 forms of transit. Originally my video idea was to ride all 11 forms of transit in one day, but because of how schedules worked out, that's not going to happen. However, we are here at the Sprinter Station, which is a sort of light rail hybrid that, um, that operates on heavy rail tracks, so that's what we're going to ride next. Because freight trains still run on these tracks, the platforms weren't allowed to be as close to the rails as they normally would be if there were not freight trains due to clearance issues. So to solve this problem, Sprinter invested in these retractable gangways that close up at, um, at the end of service every day to allow freight trains to pass through unimpeded. It reminds me of the trains in Taiwan that I've ridden before, the, specifically the diesel Next um, stop, Crouch Street. The diesel rail cars that run on the branch lines. Uh, I definitely like it. It's very smooth and uh, a nice ride. And after a brief 10 minute ride on the Sprinter, we made it to Oceanside Transit Center where we are going to hop on our next form of transit for today, Amtrak Pacific Surfliner. And because of the passes that Jack and I got, we can actually ride any Amtrak Pacific Surfliner train from Oceanside to San Diego. 17 minutes to the Pacific Surfliner. I've never actually ridden it before, so I'm pretty excited. Well, unsurprisingly being Amtrak, we just got the news that it has been delayed for an indefinite period of time one stop ahead of us, so that's fun. We're now one minute officially late, and so the wait begins. Love to see it. In celebration of the momentous indefinite delay, Jack and I have decided to get lunch. It's a bus! Wee. Look, Mom, I'm at the North County Transit District Administrative Offices. I don't care. Shut up. Alright, lunch eaten. It's been about an hour and uh hour and twenty minutes, and we're still waiting on that train. Nothing. So right now we're walking to platform three to hopefully catch the two o'clock coaster train because the original the original Amtrak train that we're going to take is still held up near San Clemente. Waiting for the train, yeah, waiting for the train. and now we're just waiting for a departure. So, our phones are about to die. Just watched the Pacific Surfliner we were going to catch fly by me on the coaster window, so that's fun. Now approaching Carlsbad Village.
conductor of our last coaster train told us that the next coaster train has charging ports. Alternatively, the next Amtrak Pacific Surfliner might also catch up and stop here, so we'll see which one gets here first. Amtrak status board says the next Pacific Surfliner is supposed to come in about 20 minutes, so hopefully I'll get my ride. Finally, after a long time, we made it onto the Pacific Surfliner, which is actually pretty exciting. I've been on an Amtrak train in a long, long time. More comfortable than a normal train. And we're getting right to the scenic part, so. Alright, we finally made it to San Diego Santa Fe Depot, about three hours late. So we rode that train over here, the coaster, from Oceanside to Solana Beach, and then we rode that train over there, the Pacific Surfliner, from Solana Beach to here, San Diego Santa Fe. Ah uh, yes, Oceanside Transit. Stacio. Stopped at 7-Eleven to fuel up on some drinks and now I'm waiting for the Blue Line train to depart. It's cool to think about how that train's going all the way to the border. Alright, so after getting a drink, taking a picture in front of the train station, we're going back on the same train they came here on, the Pacific Surfliner. It's a race. The light rail's winning. We're catching up. So running parallel to us is the UC San Diego uh, Midcoast extension. It's an extension of the Blue Line that'll run all the way up to La Jolla and connect to UC San Diego. Back in Solana Beach, uh, Jack and I are now going to catch a bus to the old Del Mar train station. We got off the bus at Del Mar and we're currently walking to the former Del Mar train station. So the old station has been turned into a private residence, but there it is. So something really cool about the city of Del Mar is that the area here is a quiet zone, so trains don't blow their horns. So how would the trains alert people that they're there? Well, the gates do that job. Now the gates do that by going... See, as someone who scares easily, I'm more a fan of the normal train horns than this uh, tsunami warning siren thing. finished our time at Del Mar, and now we're just resting on our walk to our final destination of the day, the Sunset Sea. We're 
closing in on our final stop of the day where Jack and I are gonna watch some trains for a bit and uh, round out the night. Alright, so, what'd you think of today? Today was a lot of fun. Today, I, I learned that San Diego has a lot of different public transit, um, has a lot to offer, but um, it's hard sometimes to connect um, different public transit systems with uh, like the time schedules and stuff. Yeah, there were definitely some uh, unexpected delays of up to two hours, um, but yeah, other than that, I had a pretty good day. I also picked this up off of a coaster train. It's an absolute thicky of a book, so it's cool.